a new and free coding assistant which you can run locally um, it is a new visual studio code that streamlines your coding with llama obviously you guys know llama and it is using olama so in this short video I will, sh I will show you how you can implement this and leverage this extension in visual studio code before we get started you need to make sure that you install olama uh, if you guys don't know what is Olama, just come to this website, olama.com, and download. It is available for Linux, Microsoft, and Mac. And then the next thing that you need to do is pull the Llama models. You're going to pull the 8B model, and you're going to pull the Llama instruct model. If you already have them, you can run the pull command. Otherwise, you run this command, Olama run Llama free. You can do it like I did it right here. Let me make this a bit larger so you can see. Olama pull Llama free 8B. Olama pull Llama free instruct. For those of you who don't know what is the difference between the 8B model and the instruct model, check this out. I started using lately a Microsoft Copilot and I find it pretty useful. Uh, so if you guys are not are using Microsoft and are not leveraging this, I highly recommend checking this, this out. I've overlooked Copilot for a while until one of uh, the subscribers to my channel contacted me via LinkedIn and suggested that I take a look. And since then, I've been using the Copilot pretty often for this type of stuff and also for transcription, um, actually many use cases. So anyway, the difference between Llama 8B and Instruct they de fact, both of them are versions of Meta Llama, which is a, a family of large language models. Llama 3.8b is uh, the base model, which is primarily used for generating completions to the input prompt. It's an autoregressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture, while Llama 3 Instruct is this version is a fine tuned for instruction following and multi turn conversation templates for assistant completions as chat responses. It's optimized for dialogue use cases and outperforms many of the available open source chat models on common industry benchmarks. The, instructions find, uh, the instruction tuning process involves fine tuning the model to better understand and follow natural language instructions, enabling more natural and engaging conversations. So basically, they are somewhat similar. The instruct model, like any instruct other model, is fine tuned for receiving instructions and conducting a conversation. So after you've pulled or installed both models, they weigh 4.7 gigabytes. You can come to Visual Studio Code. Let me see that I'm not missing anything. Yes, so choose. Okay, so then you need to look for this extension in Visual Studio Code. You come here, extensions, you write down Code GPT, and you look for Code GPT, chat, and AI agents. Their icon looks like this. You are going to install. I already installed this, so there's no need to click the uninstall. Yeah, I mean, no need to click the install. I only have the uninstall alternative. Afterwards, you come to here, actually, and you go to extension settings. And over here, you need to select the provider. You switch to Olama, then enable this, enable code GPT copilot and then for the autocomplete provider select llama instruct and that's pretty much it on the left hand side on this panel you will have this alternative which is the code chat gpt code gpt chat over here you see it it looks like a chat interface let me delete this you select the model so llama 8b and then you can start a conversation and in opposing to using ChatGPT or Claude as a coding assistant, this is a built-in coding assistant, which is free and local, and you can just copy code to your project and then also refactor the code or, or fix error, stuff like this. So let's take an example, the most simple and obvious example. Can you write a snake Python game for me? And I'm not sure I always use this. Uh, I mean, everyone is using this example. 
it's, on one hand it's, it seems kind of stupid but on the other hand it's a bit it's becoming somewhat of a meme and it's actually the most the easiest and simplest way to show how this stuff performs so i will just stick to this unless any one of you has a better um, example in mind as you can see uh, it is working pretty fast and don't forget this is running locally on my computer and um, because olama the model is installed on my computer we have this code and it writes everything down and we can easily just copy the code as soon as it finishes insert the code to this file and we have all the code written down now we can ask it can you add documentation and it can add the documentation you can also do a lot of other stuff over here so let me go back here just a sec so you can ask it to explain a selected code, refactor a selected code, write the documentation, and they also have specific AI agents which I didn't play around with. I'm not sure what is the is there is is there value, but I'm I'm assuming there is some sort of a value. But uh, I just use this extension for the simple stuff. I'm not sure if it's significantly different from other VS Code extensions, but it's just a, another tool in the toolbox. And since it leverages Llama, which is the free model by Meta, it's uh, and it actually performs pretty well. This is great, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, I'm not going to test out the written code because this is not the point of the video. Obviously, if Llama free and uh, the 8b model is powerful enough to create to generate the relevant code for python for the snake game it would work otherwise it wouldn't work but it has nothing to do with the action uh, the extension so and, and that was the main goal of the video just showing you this extension um i guess that's pretty much it let's see if i covered everything just a short um video about this new coding assistant which is free and local I haven't uploaded a video in a while now, so I wanted to remove the rust, quote-unquote, with this short video sharing with you this coding assistant that I'm testing out lately. If you guys enjoyed the video, obviously comment below. If you're using a different coding assistant that you believe is more powerful, please feel free to share it with me in the comment section. Obviously, I'm always welcoming any feedback. Just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment and subscribe. And until next time, keep on automating.